Hey guys, it's Rabbit. Um, I just got my Christmas present today from my sister, finally. Um, it was a little late, uh, because it's a doll. And, um, it, uh, took a little while in customs because of the holiday. They sent it, like, right before New Year's. So it sat, uh, in customs, well, it sat in LA, anyway, um, for, like, three or four days during the holiday weekend. So, it's, but it's finally here today. Um, first of all, before I show them to you, um, it's an Ipple House pet doll, and it's their, um, Bull Terrier, and I ordered mine blank so I could paint it myself, because I wanted to do something totally different from what they had on their website, which I like their paint jobs and stuff, it's just I wanted mine to be different. Anyway, I'm gonna start, um, kind of a kind of a re review, but I didn't really get to do a box opening, so I want to show you guys, like, the packaging and stuff, because I know I was kind of curious about, like, what kind of box they put them in, because they're little, um, don't, I wouldn't get uh, too worked up about the packaging, it's not, like, super impressive. <laughs> um, he came in this, this is his inside box, and on the top it says, uh, pet doll, and then, um, he was wrapped really well and everything, and he's fully uh, put together, um, except for his tail. They took his tail off because it's magnetic and they didn't want it coming off in the packaging. Um, basically, they just wrapped him in bubble wrap, and there's a whole bunch of these little foam fillers in there so he doesn't get jostled around. So, um, <coughs> like I said, the packaging, the box isn't really all that fancy. Um, I probably, I don't know if I'll keep it or not, but... Um, he also comes with this little certificate in like a little tiny envelope, which is I thought was kind of adorable. It's not my smallest certificate, believe it or not. Um, and then it has all these little animals on there. It's just a little like card deal. I don't really want people looking at the inside. It actually has my sister's name on the inside because she's the one that ordered it. And um, yeah, so but that's cool because it was a present from her, so I actually like that it has her name on the inside. But um Yeah, I just that's so cute. And then they send you um the directions is just kind of like a little printout of how you put them together. He's already pre-assembled, but this is like in case you take them apart like I did to paint them, then you know how to get them back together. And actually I have to say that this doll is really really simply um, strung. Like, I thought it was going to be really complicated because it's an animal, but he's actually only strung, um, he's strung exactly like a regular doll. Like, he's strung through the head and down, um, to the, through the back legs, like, they're, like, regular doll's legs, and then the front, um, legs are strung separately like you would arms. So, it's, it's not complicated at all. The only magnet on him is his tail, and other than that, he has four S hooks in his little paws, and then he has an S-hook in his head. Mm, anyway. Here he is. He's so cute. Like, I can't get over how cute this sculpt is. Um, first of all, I painted mine. Um, you can tell he's, like, way different than the uh, pictures on Apple House. Um, I was looking at theirs, and I was like, oh, I really like brown... And I like some of the stuff that they did, but I wanted um, to incorporate something a little different. So I went with kind of like a brendle color. So he's got a lot of brown, and then he has kind of these black uh, stripes over the top. I don't know, like, you can't really see it as well. I mean, it does, it's not showing up too bad, actually. You can see his little stripes. And I, his tail, it kind of wags this way. But like I said, it's a magnet, so his tail actually just comes off. It's a pretty strong magnet, though. It doesn't, like, fall off or anything, and it's, like, sculpted well in there. But um, I decided when I uh, was going to paint him that I only wanted to do uh, these parts because of his joints and how they move. I definitely don't want to do this part right here because he gets a lot of movement in this joint, and I don't want it to, like, scratch what I've done. I may actually paint this, but I'm not sure, because it looks a little bit like this part, his head is really heavily, like, colored and stuff. I like the little spot on his nose. And also, 
he has a little heart. I couldn't resist. I gave him a little heart on his chin. Um, I also gave him, I don't know how focused this is going to get if I get really close, but I also, oh, you can't see it a little bit. I gave him little um, whisker dots, too. Um, he has, he came with these little um, brown eyes. They're not dark brown. They're like kind of a medium brown. And I just love the way he, look at his little smile. He's just so cute. But, um, anyway, <laughs> he, he posts really great. I'm actually impressed. He has like a weight to him. Um, he poses, like, he holds lots of positions. His little paws, I was kind of worried because, like, in a lot of the pictures, they show him kind of stiff like that. But they actually do, like, bend down a little bit more than I thought. Um, I also painted his little nails, which I didn't spray. The only parts that I sprayed with the super clear was the parts that I was going to paint because I don't like it, like, scuffing off when he moves around, and I know he's, I'm gonna want to play with him, like, move him around a lot, so I didn't want to spray him too much. I just, uh, did a little pastel on his toenails and coated it with a gloss so I didn't have to spray it. Um, he even has a little dew claw in there, but he gets, he gets a really good range of movement. He has a lot of joints. Um, something, uh, that they don't really mention on the website also is, I was kind of looking at the pictures wondering why they didn't blush the bottom of his feet. Um, you know, because, like, you'd expect them to be pink, maybe, or, like, black. But, um, he actually has little... This way. He actually has little, um, rubbery things on the bottom of his feet. Which is pretty cool, because, uh, he won't... He doesn't slide. He doesn't slip and slide when you set him down. He actually will grip onto the surface, which... Um, I don't know if people, I didn't know that, like, I don't know if it says that anywhere on the site, but that, I think, is a pretty cool feature. Um, his back legs, for some reason, like, they don't want to, like, separate all that much, so when he stands, he has to have his back legs kind of close together. Um, you can kind of pop them out like this a little bit, I guess. That's a little tricky. But, um, he does get, like... I'll show you, he gets a full range of movement, and well, this is kind of open right there when you do that, but, um, he moves this way, this way, and his little neck moves all the way down. His head gets really, really good range of movement, which is one of the reasons why I'm kind of debating whether to blush this neck or not, because his head does, like, when it's back like that, his head slides around a lot, so I don't know. I, I think I'll just leave it blank for now. I say that, but I might <laughs> I might still blush it later. But, um, God, he's just so cute. I'm sorry, guys. I keep going on and on. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything else that you guys might be curious about this dog. Oh, his height. Um, on the Ipple House website, I think it measures him from head to foot this way as his height. Well, if you try to look up, I wanted to see if he was in scale for, uh, third scale dolls. So, um, when I got him, the first thing I did was measure him from his, uh, his shoulder to his foot, because that's how they measure dogs, you know, that's usually how they measure dogs on anywhere else. So, um, I took that measurement, and it's a 10.5 centimeters, it's not quite 11, and if you times that by 3 and convert it, he'd be about 12 and a half inches, approximately. So this doll in third scale would be um, a miniature bull terrier and not a standard bull terrier. I think if he was in quarter scale, though, he'd be closer to, like, if you had him with your MSDs instead of your SD dolls, he'd be closer to, um, like, standard size. Um, he's not quite as bulky as, like regular, uh, like all the pictures and stuff I see of bull terriers, he's not quite as bulky. But, I just, he's so cute, you guys. I just love him. Like, oh my god. I love this little spot on his nose. So cute. Anyway, I hope that uh, that helps you guys um, trying to figure out scale, and um, if you guys are even debating getting one of these, you should 
totally just go for it. I think he's, like, worth every little penny. Like, uh, even though I didn't pay for him, my sister did. But it was awesome, okay? This is, like, the best Christmas present ever right here. So excited. And if my sister watches this video, I'm a little embarrassed. But I hope she knows that this is, like, the coolest thing right here. Anyway, oh, by the way, his name is, um, Quentin. And I named him after uh, Quentin Blake, who is the illustrator to most of Roald Dahl's books. And the reason I named him Quentin Blake is because um, Quentin Blake, if you've ever read Roald Dahl, um, Roald Dahl does like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and um, the BFG and uh, James and the Giant Peach. Um, if you've ever read his books, you'll notice that uh, a lot of the illustrations by Quentin Blake are really kind of like... They're goofy and cartoony looking, and I've always thought that these little little bull terrier dogs are just like so different looking than like other dogs, and they rem <laughs> look at him just staring. He's so cute. Anyway, um, they <laughs> they really they're kind of goofy looking little dogs, and I love that about them. So I just thought Quentin was a really cool name. So um, it, he belongs to my doll uh, Hikaru. He's uh. Yeah, he's Ben and Hikaru's dog. But I'm going to make him little collars and little coats and little dog beds and little bones and love him so much. Anyway, I, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to post some pictures of him on my Flickr and Instagram. And I'm taking him to work tomorrow to show my coworkers. So, because <laughs> they were like almost as excited as I was, a couple of them. I was like, wow, you guys, this is great. But, um... Yeah, I will see you guys next video, and I hope you had an awesome holiday season, because clearly I did, um, and I'll see you around. Bye!